Hi everyone, this is Satya Prakash. Welcome to my channel. This is part 5 of ASP.NET Core. So in this video, I will show you what are the difference between startup.cs class and program.cs in ASP.NET Core empty project. So these two files are important the file the ASP.NET Core application execution and uh, how to debug the ASP.NET Core application. So guys, before going through this part 5, please visit my part 4 that is sp.net core project file structure and details. So in this video, we'll discuss the significance of main method in, SP, in an sp.net core application. Okay, so in this video, we'll discuss what is program.cs in sp.net core, what is startup class in sp.net core, main method in ASP.NET Core application and uh, steps to execute .NET Core application and how to debug ASP.NET Core application. So the main motto of this video is the two things we need to focus on in this part that is what is the significance of main method in an ASP.NET Core application and what happens behind the scenes when a .NET Core application is executed. So guys, this is my sp.net core empty project and the, you can see this project uh, program.cs file. Okay, so this file has has a method that is public static void main. Okay, so if you have any uh, experience with previous version of .NET that is a console application has a main method and it is the entry point for the console application. But here we are creating an sp.net core web application and not a console application. So the obvious question that comes to our mind is why do we have a main method? Well, the important point to keep in mind that an sp.net core application initially starts as a console application and the main method in the program.cs file as the entry point. Okay. So, so guys, the this main method configures is a uh, sp.net core and start starts it and at that point it becomes an sp.net core web application so when the runtime executes our application it looks this main method and this where the execution starts okay so if you have a look at the main method it calls the create web host builder okay and uh, the method passing it command line arguments okay and is the build method it builds an ie web host which hosts a web application and there is one runtime these are the extension methods okay so this this methods this is the extension method it runs a web application and blocks the calling thread until host shut down so as we can see the create web host builder method returns an object that implements i web host builder okay so you can see this method implementation okay so here on this object build method calls which builds the web host and uh, that hosts our sp.net core web application so on the web host runs met run method is called which runs the web application and it begins listening for incoming HTTP request. So guys, uh, the create web host builder method calls the create default builder. Okay, so the create default builder, it is a static method of web host class. Okay, if you right click on it, go to definition and this is the metadata. Okay, so you can see this, this class has a static method i web host builder. And it has a method create default builder. Okay, so the create default builder method creates a web host with pre configured defaults. That is, create default builder method does several things to create a web host. Uh, so, we'll discuss this all the things about the create builder, uh, create default builder method does in, uh, in my upcoming video. So as of now, just understand the create default builder method sets up a web host with certain defaults. So as part of setting up web host, uh, you can see there is startup class. Okay. So 
The startup class is also configured using use startup extension method. So that is the extension method that is it specifies the startup type to be used by the web host. So if you uh, if you uh, want to familiar with the extension method, you just uh, go to my uh, C sharp uh, playlist so you can get the overall idea on what is extension method in C sharp. So by convention, the startup class in SP.NET Core is named startup. Okay. So this class has two methods. So if you go here, you can see the startup class. So I have opened the startup class here. So you just uh, uh, noticed the startup class has two methods. One is configure services. So this method called by the runtime. So use this method to add service to the container. Another one is configure method. So this method gets called by the runtime. Use this method to configure the HTTP request pipeline. So these two different methods have two different arguments. Therefore, configure service there is I service collection, and for uh, configure there is I application builder and I host environment. So these are all interfaces. So startup class does the following two very important things. That is configure service method. It configures the uh, services required by the application and this method configure it sets up the applications request processing pipeline so it is very important we understand that what these two methods does so we'll be revisiting these two methods uh, many times as we progress through uh, in my upcoming videos or in this session or upcoming session and we'll discuss them in detail okay guys so what i will do is i just uh, went to run times uh, to debug the application so before debugging i just put the breakpoint in program.cs file at line number 16. so if you click on it yes express so guys see my breakpoint is fired okay so I, I want to go inside so it comes to create build ho build host builder and it comes to create build create web host builder method implementation so if you inside it uh, it will go to uh, startup.cs file okay so in startup.cs file it comes to the method that is configure services so configure services this services object we need to uh, check what is the result view so this result view has few uh, you know data so there is uh, service types every uh, service type okay so you can see the service type has uh, uh, just right click on uh, just expand this service type so you can see this name is i host environment and this is the details we can see here okay so in this way we can check this uh, service types as well so there is uh, uh, service types i application builder factory so there is different service type names and its full name and if you expand the service type you'll get the details of this in detail okay so after then i'll go in uh, inside of it and again it will go to the my next method that is configure so if you click on uh, if you um, put your mouse on hover on uh, this app object so you'll get two properties uh, okay and there is for the key and its values and same way if you click on if you put your mouse over on the uh, i host environment object env so you'll get this application name and this uh, content raw root file folder and you also get the for the environment name so it is the de development environment name okay so from here we get the uh, what the environment name is so it will go to the if condition because our development is environment uh, environment is development so it will go to inside okay and it will go to the next that is up run as in context okay <clears throat> so if you go to here and So it, it will be execute this line that is the await context or response right async so it will display this message in my browser that is hello world so guys uh, you just put your mouse over that is up it is passed here 
and it has a uh, run right so this run method has the async context and inside we have the uh, asynchronous operation that await using that context object and respond to write async so it will it will uh, write this message in my browser so uh, you can see i am getting this message that is hello world which is defined here in startup.cs file okay uh, so if you just uh, uh, rename from hello world uh, sp.net core okay uh, also you'll get this message as well uh, so if you save these changes and just go to my browser and refresh it so before that we need to uh, save these changes and okay you can go to the browser okay we need to stop the debugging and again we need to run our application so continue so guys here i can see the new messages what we have updated in startup.cs file that is hello from hello world to hello world sp.net core so we have also received this new message in my browser okay uh, so so that's all about program.cs file and startup.cs file so we'll go to my presentation so guys here i have uh, mentioned few definitions and it's uh, some theoretical uh, statements what is program.cs file it's important while you're giving any interviews or some questions calling from this part of program.cs file in sp.net in SP core so these are the points i have defined here i have mentioned so it's the important uh, definitions or points okay and that is the program.cs file what is program.cs file what is the work behind program.cs file and what are the class or interfaces are interrelated with this program.cs file and what is the method and how it is uh, host in servers so i have defined all these points in under covered under program.cs file so uh, what is startup.cs file these are the points i have covered okay and uh, what is startup.cs file and uh, what are the work behind of startup.cs and uh, what are the methods that is under startup.cs file that is one is configure service method another one is configure method so these are the definitions i have covered for configure service method and these are the definitions with points i have covered under configure methods so guys that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day